Good morning, Jesus School. Let's look at Jesus. Let's behold the Lamb. Let's behold Him. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who is preferred before me, for he was before me. I did not know him, but that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore I came baptizing with water. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. You reveal Jesus to us, God, and we welcome you. Help us to worship him rightly today, God. Amen. to thank you.
of acclamation and take me home and what joy will fill my heart and then I shall Yeah.
Jesus, there's nothing like your presence, Lord. There's no place we would rather be than with you. Thank you. Your presence is life, Lord. Your life, Jesus, thank you. Thank you for coming this morning. We love you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. Thank you, Jesus. We're gonna step into a time of communion. So if you guys could make your way back to your seats. Get your um, communion elements. Those at home, please join us for communion. If you have communion elements.
if we could all just posture our hearts. Um, just read this scripture earlier, but I really would like to um, just like think about this, close our eyes and think about this. If, if it was, if we were back in the day, if we could just read this scripture without any preconceived thoughts or ideas, or we've read this before, but if we were back in the day, and we were with John, and he said, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Look, there he is. They've been waiting for the Messiah, and there he is. If we could just posture our hearts to behold Jesus, he said, make straight the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Prepare the way. That's still the cry. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. So, Father, we just thank you for making this path of our hearts straight, Lord, for you to walk on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lamb of God. I just want to read this scripture. The scripture says that it is not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away the sins. That is why Christ came into the world. He gave him a body was to offer. You have given me a body. A body was prepared for us. For it was God's will for us to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. For our high priest offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins, good for all time. Then he sat down in the place of honor at God's right hand. The king of heaven came into this earth clothed in human flesh with human parents and came to ransom us, gave his body. Our high priest became the offering. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, what is, what is man that thou art mindful of us, Lord? Lord, thank you. Thank you for your body, Lord, that was broken for us, Jesus. May the cross of Christ ever be seared on our hearts, Lord. May we ever, Father, just, just be burned with the beauty of the cross and your sacrifice, Jesus. May we never look away, Jesus. May it ever be on our mind, Lord. We thank you so much, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the bread, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, that your body was broken for us, Lord. That your body was broken, beaten, and torn. And we thank you, Jesus, that you paid a price, Lord. If there's anyone sick in this room today, anybody that's watching, if you have need of healing, when you receive this body today, receive your healing. The price was paid for you. So, Father, we just take this bread, Lord. We lift it up, lift up the bread high because he was lifted up. And we break this bread because your body was broken, Jesus. And we take, we take of your body, Lord. We eat and we receive all that you've done for us, all that you provided for us, Jesus. And we say today, Lord, may you receive the full reward of your suffering, Jesus. May you receive the full reward of your suffering, Lord. You may take the bread. Ephesians 2, it says, Remember that you were at that time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. He himself is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility. And as we were singing that song today about how he saved us and how he raised us, that there was a time when 
his pure eyes couldn't even look upon us because we were filled with iniquity, filled with just filth. And he covered us in his blood, his very own blood. And he drew us near to himself. This holy God, this holy almighty God that created you, that created me, that created the heavens and the earth invites us to this intimate moment right now to partake of him. And as we partake of him, life fills our being. The dead things come to life. Those of you that are sick in body, those of you that are watching online, take this in faith this morning that as you partake of him, that the true body and blood of Jesus Christ is filling your being. So we just lift the cup, Jesus, and we remember you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that we were once dead and we are now alive. We were lost and now we're found. We were blind and now we see because of your precious blood, Lord, that was poured out. Yeah, take the blood. Jesus, we love you, Lord. We are so thankful for you, Lord. Just like the song we sang this morning, Lord, Psalms 40, you did pick us up out of the miry clay, Lord. You saved us from a horrible pit, Lord, that was away from you, Lord. You set our feet upon the solid rock, which is you, Lord Jesus. And you put a new song in our mouth, Lord, a song of praise. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that as we step into this time of giving, Lord, that you would, uh, you would make our hearts just burst with generosity, Lord, for all you've done for us, Lord. We're so thankful for you, Lord. You know all of our needs before we even voice them, Lord Jesus. You know all of our needs, Father. All good gifts come down from the Father of lights, Lord, and we love you this morning. We thank you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to briefly read from uh, Genesis 22. It says, after these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. God said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, this is foreshadowing Jesus, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac, and he cut the wood for the burnt offering and he rose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship and come again to you. You see, Abraham was going to sacrifice his son Isaac, but he considered it worship to God. That's what he told the young men. And you know, the rest of the story, they make it to the top of the mountain. They get up there and Abraham builds the altar of wood and Isaac, his son, looks up at him and he says, Father, I see the wood, I see the fire, but where's the lamb? Where's the offering? And Abraham looks down at his son and he says, God himself will provide the lamb of offering. And the Lord did provide us with the lamb. He provided us with his very best. He gave us his very best. He gave us his own son. What more could he give us than that? And so it's hard for me to, to take the, the bread and the cup today and my heart not be filled with thankfulness and generosity for the Lord. And it's, it's hard to read this passage and not be so thankful and moved from what the Lord did for us on Calvary. And if anyone was gonna give their son that day, it wasn't gonna be Abraham, it was gonna be God. And he gave us himself. And, and we thank you, Lord, right now. We thank you for your son, Jesus, Lord. We thank you for all you've done for us, Lord, that you did pick us up out of a horrible pit, God. You saved us, Lord. You set our feet upon you. You put a song in our mouth of praise, Lord. You know all of our needs, God, and we know that the safest place to give, Lord, is in your hands, where moth and rust do not destroy, Lord, where our treasure is, Lord. That's where our heart's at, Lord. So be our treasure today, Lord, as we give into these buckets, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, in your precious name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. If you guys are watching online, you can text the number on your screen, give. If you're in the room, just please uh, lift your hands up and an usher will come and bring you an envelope. Uh, thank you guys so much. Yeah, amen. If you guys want to bring the buckets up, you guys could obviously give. Um, we do want to address our online uh, viewers that um, we are having a preview day right here at Jesus School. And what that is, is a it's a preview. You get to view what it looks like to be in the room right here at Jesus School. Um, I know some of you guys watch online. You guys probably watch our worship sets on Thursdays as well as our services on Sundays. But um, there's more, obviously, to what God is doing here on, than on Sundays and Thursdays, which is, is our Jesus School and what this is every single week. And so if you feel that little nudge, that little, man, if you watch it like, man, I need to get in the room or I feel God calling me to apply you can do that, um, and as well as you can come on our preview day. It's April 6th. Um, we're going to gather right here in the room, and we're going to do what we do every single day, worship Jesus and sit at his feet. Um, I remember when I first saw the promo video, and I heard, you want to spend eight months at sitting at the feet of Jesus? I was like, absolutely. What do I got to do? And, uh, and I'm here, and I did it. So if you feel that, even if you guys in the room, you guys know friends, families, that are talking about it, that just want to know a little bit more, that is a perfect, beautiful day to invite them. So, yep, we want to encourage all of you guys watching online. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in week after week. And House of Bethany preview day as well is the same day. So we have that up on the screen. It's, um, you know, it's, it's basically, it's exactly what it says. It, it's a house where the Jesus is loved and adored and where we sit at the feet of Jesus. It's an extension of Jesus School. But um, obviously, there's a lot more to that. We do have, uh, you know, musicians. They get to learn their craft as well as singing, vocals. Um, we have dance. Uh, there's all kinds. So listen, if you guys feel called, there's so much that God is doing here. Obviously, you do have to be a Jesus School student to apply unless you are a two-year graduate here at Jesus School. But we just want to encourage you guys. It's going to be a special day. That is the weekend of, I believe, Good Friday. So we have a lot going on. If you want to fly in, we have a whole weekend full of stuff as well as our Sunday service. So we love you guys. We'll see you uh, Sunday at 10 a.m. Years ago, we felt our hearts burning for a place that would invite wholehearted, devoted lovers of Jesus to come sit at his feet and to hear his voice. What the Lord is doing at Jesus School is just so special. There's really nothing like it. It's like your eyes open and you see Jesus in a way that you've never known him before. We've seen miracles, we've seen people born again, we've seen people set free. We've seen worship go up in the most beautiful way as Jesus is being adored. And it's the presence of Jesus and the presence of Jesus alone that changes lives. What makes Jesus School so special and so unique is it really is all about Jesus. It's the simplicity of loving Him and being with Him. It truly transforms your life. There is absolutely no substitute for the presence of the Lord Jesus. And that's what Jesus School is. It is a house for His glory and a people who love Him with everything in their hearts. When you lay all the other things down, lay them at his feet, and when you just want him, you will never be the same. Jesus responds to those who worship him. He loves our worship and loves our praise. And so to us, the greatest example of this in the scriptures is the house of Bethany. Bethany is the house of resurrection. Bethany is the house of first love. Bethany is the house of fragrance. And what's so special about House of Bethany is it's about ministering to the Lord. People are coming that are highly skilled, highly trained to come and teach these students how to be true worshipers. And that is what House of Bethany is doing. It is training people to love Jesus and to use the skills and the giftings that Jesus has given them and to give it back to him. And so from the house of Bethany, singers are emerging, dancers are emerging, instrumentalists are emerging, poets are emerging, media crews are emerging who have seen something in him that is beautiful and worth laying our lives down for. Make me 
Michael and Jess here. We are standing on the exact location where the headquarters for Jesus Image will be. Local church, Jesus School, uh, House of Bethany, all of that will be located right here. In fact, in the exact spot where Jesse and I are standing will be the beautiful pond in front of the sanctuary where we will most likely be holding baptism services occasionally. So we're so excited. We're right here in Seminole County off of Lake Mary Boulevard. We own this land. God owns this land, I should say. And the building will be right behind us. The sanctuary, the admin building, and the prayer house. And so listen, we just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for giving. Thank you for praying. Thank you for being so patient and believing with us. We're believing God that the nations will descend on this property, that they will worship Jesus, that the sick will be healed here, that the lost will be saved, that the presence and glory of God will rest here. We want that. We believe this is holy ground and that the tangible glory of Jesus will be right here on this land. And so we want to invite you to come and invite you to be a part of what God is going to do here. Yeah, we are just so very thankful for you. Thank you so much for your prayers and your love and support. We are truly blown away with what the Lord is doing and we cannot wait to have you here with us one day. Yeah, and we're really excited about what we're gonna show you right now. We wanna take you on a journey and show you the incredible design, detail, and vision of what will take place on this property. Our Jesus Image home will be located in the beautiful Seminole County right off of Lake Mary Boulevard. This is a thriving area filled with families, restaurants, and the beautiful amenities that this area provides. The vision of this property is simple. We want the presence of Jesus Christ to be known. We have a deep value for experiencing the Lord in His beauty and the majesty of His creation. This facility will host our local church family, Jesus School, which is our discipleship training program yearly conferences, the Bethany House of Prayer, and it will also be an outreach hub for the state and nation. There is vision behind everything. The location of the buildings, the landscaping, the water features, and of course the architectural design of the buildings themselves all speak to the beauty of the Lord. We want all who enter the property to feel as though they've entered into the peace of the presence of God. With all the stress and turmoil that people face on a daily basis, this will be a place of serenity, worship, reflection, and adoration. Rather than this feeling like a headquarters, we want this to be the house of God and a home for His people. You will notice that the structures themselves have a timeless look and design. From the stonework to the stained glass, it will feel like the house of God. The gospel will be declared from every side of the property in multiple different ways. As you pull into the new Jesus Image home, you will discover a massive parking area that will be framed by and filled with beautiful shrubbery and trees. There will be plenty of room for you and your family. A beautiful drive leads you to the sanctuary building. You will enter through a stone archway. Upon the archway, one of the foundational verses for Jesus Image will be inscribed. This verse carries the heartbeat of our lives and the construction of this house. Only one thing is needed, Luke 10, 42. Upon entering the front door to the main building, you will see a massive gathering area. It is a two-story structure. The first level will be filled with life. This will be a place to congregate with friends and family, to get your children checked into children's church, to eat, or simply enjoy a coffee around a beautiful fireplace. The first level will also house the youth room. We have a major focus on seeing this next generation love Jesus. The youth room will seat approximately 500 people. This room will also serve as the second year facility for Jesus School. Our children's rooms will be located on the first level. This will be a convenient experience for children and parents upon their arrival. Our children will receive amazing Bible teaching, a worship experience, and knowledge of the presence of the Holy Spirit for themselves. 
The second level of the main building will facilitate working spaces for our board of directors, our staff, and interns. This will be a great blessing for us as we move forward in wisdom as a ministry. As you know, God has graced Jesus' image with a massive reach through media. Thousands have come to Jesus, and so many have been healed and set free through our media ministry. We will have our very own production studio where we can create content and continue to stream live to the nations. We will release podcasts, social media content, videos, and much more. Multiplied millions have watched our media content, and we believe our creative team will flourish in this new space as they step out into this vital and anointed calling. As you walk across the main gathering space, you will discover the sanctuary. What an amazing space this will be. While we will have state-of-the-art technology in the sanctuary, the space will take you back in time, a time when churches had a sacred feel to them. You will discover beautiful stained glass behind the platform. Stained glass will line the sides of the sanctuary as well, all telling the gospel story of Jesus. There will be timeless wood beaming and stonework throughout. We long for his presence to fill this place, and it will be a home for you as well. We will seat approximately 1,500 people, yet it will not lose the personal feel that we so deeply value. The platform will be spacious with plenty of room for ministry, our worship teams, and of course, a baptismal. You will notice a round stained glass image on the back wall of the sanctuary depicting a dove in fire descending in the room. May the Holy Spirit fill our hearts each time we gather as a church family. The sanctuary space will also serve Jesus School. This will house our hundreds of first year students as well as our general school sessions. These students will be missionaries to the nations of the world and to their generation. The gospel will be declared from this sanctuary space multiple times per week and people will be raised up from this place to share Jesus with the world. And may millions be saved, healed, and touched by the Holy Spirit. Lastly, for our favorite space on the property, the Bethany House of Prayer. This will be the prayer house for Jesus' image. It will be a place for adoration, silent prayer, reflecting upon the scriptures, and worship. You will notice that the house will be built upon a pond. The setting will be quaint and breathtaking. Stone and wood mark the space with warmth and a traditional look that we believe will transcend generations. We believe this will be the hub of the entire property, a place where intimacy with God and pure prayer ascend before Him. It is named Bethany House because Bethany was the place where Jesus was loved deeply. Therefore, He rested there. Mary found the better part, and it is our prayer that all who enter will find Jesus there and fall in love with Him. May Jesus be pleased with all that takes place here. May he be adored and worshiped on this property. May his word be taught with clarity, boldness, and love. May his gospel flood the nations, and may the generations to come find him here. Will you stand with us? Will you pray and give toward this vision? Will you give sacrificially for the sake of Jesus and his gospel? Will you be a part of something that will outlive you for the sake of eternity? Thank you. We love you. Jesus is beautiful.